perfect person to ask this question. What is what impresses you or is not impressive about people who are coming directly out of college looking for a, their first analytics job? So it's a it, it's a tough balance, right? Because you have to be able to confidently talk, or at least you know, for me as an interviewer, and uh, I have to preface this by saying I have a very specific style. Um, I'm an extrovert. I like people that like um, can carry a conversation um, and. I don't want to say keep me entertained, but kind of like, you know, like where, where I'm not asking every single question of them. Um, right. You know, pass the, pass the ball back and forth, not just right, right. one, two word answers. Yes, no. Exactly. Um, so I would say um, obviously someone who has technical skills is going to be impressive to me. Uh, someone, if you know Python, you know SQL. Okay, cool. That's less stuff I have to teach you. Um, and we can just get you straight up on some stuff. If you don't though, like I didn't, you know, when I started, I didn't have the technical skills at all. That is totally fine. What I'm looking more for is how easy is it to teach you something? Because I have never met an entry level person and I very much put myself in this bucket. Um, I've never met an entry level person that like, you can throw them into corporate America in, in analytics. You can throw them into corporate America and they immediately know what they're doing. They are, you know, kicking ass and like, you know, taking names from day one. Like it's such a huge shift from the educational system and what the person has been doing for the 22 years prior in their life um, that, what I'm most looking for is like, okay, how can I, how easily can I teach you? How many hours are you willing to put in? Um, like, you know, I'll respect your time, but you got to learn. So how many hours are you willing right. to put in? Um, which is a personal value of mine. Like a lot, like hours is a very personal value of mine. Um, and what questions are you willing to ask? When they say we're looking for critical thinking skills, I didn't understand it until I got into corporate America. And I'm like, ah, okay. Like, unlike school where there is this all knowing person, you know, the professor, um, who like gives you a problem and, you know, with this, uh, which may or may not have a set solution. Obviously every professor teaches differently, but like has a set solution. It's a, it's a, it's an engineered problem. Uh, in the workplace, you wouldn't be paid money if the problem was already solved. So. Wow. You know, you know what? I am so glad you brought that up because that is, um, I just wrapped up this semester with the capstone course mm -hmm. where I had the students go and work on my two of my clients. Mm -hmm. And these are novel problems that I don't have an out of the box solution to. Right. And it, what's interesting is that, I'm like, look, I've taught you Power BI and Tableau last semester. Mm -hmm. um, here are the frameworks that I've taught you. Here's how to think about a KPI and a dimension of data. Go solve this. If you have questions, let me know, but I'm not gonna. At first I wanted, I was like anxious and I wanted to spoon feed them everything of like, oh, this is what the client wants typically. And like, when I, I realized like, no, I'm actually gonna divorce myself from the interaction. You're the team leader, go interface with the client. And I think that was the most, mm -hmm. I mean, I. I didn't even get that level of interaction and kind of, I guess it's, yeah, it's how do you teach critical thinking? I think I didn't even get that in my MBA program. I mean, we kind of, mm -hmm. we did a capstone course, but it wasn't like, these weren't real problems that the company um, was actively like, hey, this is worth, I don't know, $50,000 to us if we can get this right. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's it's a tough because if you think about it, like, you know, like in, in many ways, what is the education system for a lot of people, right? It's a, mm -hmm. uh, not for everyone, you know, but like, what is it for a lot of people? It is a system in, we have in society that is supposed to bring people to a certain level of knowledge to where they are able to, uh, and I'm taking kind of like the very like, you know, so society level, uh, you know, take on it. Um, they will be able to, pro, pro, to um, uh, execute more economically viable tasks, you know, we can have them do more advanced stuff for people. Um, and especially in the age of the knowledge worker, which is like kind of the age we're in right now, right? Um, you are not gonna be given direct instructions on how to like accomplish stuff because that stuff can just be given to a robot. You know, RPA is totally a thing. Uh, right. a, you know, you know the, the, these tasks that can just be given to people or given to, you know, uh, computers aren't gonna be given to people anymore. So the real question I think is like, how well can you solve problems? Um, and that's kind of why I place a very high emphasis on technical skills at the beginning of a career, because I think it's a very kind of like, um, easy way to differentiate yourself from people. Like, yes, you can code. That's a, that's a skill. I can give it to you and, um, you can easily, you, you, what you can think of a pro like a solution to a problem and then you can go create it. You it know, I don't have to give mental else. models. Yes. It yes. gives you models of like, okay, this here's, here's this specific problem here's how I would solve this with Python. Here's how I would solve it with Tableau. Mm -hmm. And it gives you like a, yeah, kind of like a little methodology 
to like solve the, I almost call them like little, little castles, little fiefdoms of like, here's the, well, cause that's how I think, that's how I built my consulting agency. It's like, here's how I solve sales analytics. Here's mm-hmm. how I solve marketing analytics. And then I, I package it up and then I can go and I can communicate it to, you know, president, CFOs, whoever, mm-hmm. CMOs, whoever's like potentially interested in implementing analytics. Um, what I think also too, what's coming to mind is this concept. Do you know what lateral thinking is? No, I don't. Okay. So lateral thinking is like kind of making, well, I think a lot of, in terms of metaphors. So like what, when you were talking about, okay, I hire people, um, here are the things that are good. Here are the things that are bad. It made me think of, um, I don't know if you've like ever played like a, a video game where they, it's like Tekken or they're fighting. And it's like, you have your player selection screen and it's like, mm-hmm. here's the person here's technical skills and it's like a bar there, here's their personality, here's a bar there. It's like thinking thinking about how you grade people for their interviews or how you perceive them. I was thinking like, oh, it's kind of like how I would choose my fighting character in a video game. Yeah, I think that's actually a tremendous way of like thinking about it. Like certain characters have different abilities, um, right. but you don't win... Um, assuming that you're not playing with a broken character, right? You don't win <laughs> a, a game by just mashing the buttons and randomly just like throwing like Python Tableau Power BI at like the problem. You're like, okay, no, 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 no. You know how to do these things. Um, and what I'm looking for is how do you implement these different moves, these different things you know to solve the problem? Because uh, like, like I said, I, I, I think um, uh, from my first job to my second job, I was doing a lot of the same work, um, but I was using Python instead of Alteryx to get the job done. But you know, there's more than one way to get the, the, the job done. And if you use a tool like Alteryx, for example, you don't need to know coding at all. Or Tableau now released Tableau Prep a couple of years ago. Um, they actually released in the middle of my, like that first job I had. Um, wow. Yeah, and it's it's free software that comes with uh, Tableau, like a Tableau desktop license. Um, and you can accomplish a lot of stuff that would normally require Python or Power Query with mm. Tableau Prep. Um, and so I, I think you're exactly right. Like the, the, the fighting game meta- metaphor is like a, like a great way to think about it. Like you have your technicals, but how do you, how you apply them is really what makes you useful to people. Right. I'm going way too deep into this metaphor. Uh, Cause also I was thinking too, like people are just looking for the cheat codes. They want to like, what, what is this? What is the superpower that can just mm. get you through this? But okay. So if we have like an attack stat and a defense stat, I would say maybe the attack stat would be like your technical acumen mm-hmm. your defense stack might be your business acumen. So understanding Correct. like, okay, so I don't know that much about coding or Python, but maybe I can study marketing and mm-hmm. learn kind of how to apply data and numbers and what is the game that's being played there. And then I can, in the background, start to build up that, that technical acumen. And that's um, exactly what I did. You know, I, I came with some knowledge of supply chain and I mm-hmm. built the technical acumen on the job. Um, I, I really have to emphasize that. Like a lot of the stuff can be built on the job, you know, just put in an hour or two after work or even in work, you know, if you're, if you're lucky enough to have a manager that allows you to take a little bit more time on tasks to try it in a different method. Uh-